everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you another what's in my grocery bag. I had a bunch of requests so I decided I would do that today for you. get started. Um, I have the usual things. I'm going to go ahead and hold the camera so I can show you guys. Um, the usuals are my baby romaine organics and today I got arugula. So I'm going to make um, salads this week with those. Um, another usual is my cauliflower. I got two bags of those and my hard boiled eggs. But I also got regular eggs and and I also got brown rice, frozen brown rice that you can just heat up in the microwave because when I get home late at night, like nine o'clock, I don't want to have to cook rice in my rice cooker, although I do have a rice cooker that I can make rice in. Um, but this one looked really yummy, so I decided to get this brown rice, but they also have organic brown rice, but I wanted to see how this one was. So I got that one. And then I like oatmeal in the morning, so uh, I didn't have time to go to Whole Foods and get my normal gluten Frida, so I'm going to try this one. And just looked good, low fat, low sodium, whole grains, heart healthy. <laughs> so I like oatmeal in the morning. Um, this actually wasn't in my grocery bag, but my mom gave me this this weekend, and my aunt gave it to her, and so I thought I would try this. So cold brewed iced tea, green tea with mint. That sounds really, really good. So I think that would be great to drink during the day. So I'm going to try that. My usual, I got the Greek yogurt from Trader Joe's. I got some blueberry. But then I, I also bought um, the Greek non-fat pumpkin yogurt. So I've never had this before. I'm actually going to give it a try. Very good. Mm, it's very good. I like it. Yeah, I recommend that. That's tasty. So I also got an avocado. And I decided to try this pumpkin butter. I've had a few friends say that they have purchased it. And I've heard a couple of ideas that you can do um, with the pumpkin butter. But you could put it on a, like a rice cake and um, just spread it on a rice cake. And there's just pumpkin, sugar, honey, cinnamon, ginger, refrigerated after opening. I'm going to try this one too. Well, I tried this one and it's very good too. So... 
That would be nice on a whole wheat piece of toast. That was tasty. <laughs> the pumpkin stuff is really tasty. So those are from Trader Joe's. Uh, so I'm going to make my first spaghetti squash of the fall. Uh, this one, I'm going to have to bake it first in order to cut it. Um, but sometimes if you're at the produce at Shaw's or Whole Foods, they will cut it for you in half. That's actually how I prefer to do it and then bake it in the oven. So this weekend we were at my friend Kelly's and she served these as a little appetizer and we love them. Vegetable bird's nests. So it has kale, onion, carrots, um, not too bad and they taste actually really good. You bake them in the oven. So those were good. You already saw the eggs um, and getting for the first time this year frozen sweet mashed potatoes. And the only other new thing I got was cut sugar pumpkin. So I'll probably bake that in the oven. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll add sweet potato. So lots of greens for the week, as usual. Protein from the egg. And a little snack or a treat, if you will. Eggs. And then and my new favorites are the pumpkin butter and the pumpkin Greek yogurt. I also picked up a new rosé, and it is made with organic grapes, so we'll see how it tastes. So thanks for joining me today for What's in My Grocery Bag. Hopefully this will help you get a few new items at the grocery store so that you can mix up your meals. I'll see you soon.